50 years, Black Uhuru has remained as one of the most popular, recognized, and prolific reggae bands from Jamaica. The living legends have earned several achievements in the music industry, including winning the first ever Grammy Award for reggae music. Their long success, along with having the highest reggae record sales after Bob Marley and the most songs sampled by other artists over the years, has allowed them to become ambassadors of reggae. Welcome to the Black Uhuru DocuCast. Welcome forward, Mr. Ducky Simpson. This is the third time joining us here on the Entertainment Report podcast on this crazy journey that you've been on for the past 50 years musically. It's been crazy, and we're about mm, not even halfway, but there's so much more to go. Last place we spoke about was when you and Garth Dennis and Don Carlos reunited again at the show in California. Reed was still the lead singer. You know, going into California, Reed have, have had problem with the authority, as he always do. Mm -hmm. Was stopped by immigration, um, detained, whatsoever, whatsoever. Could not come into the country. So we went through immigration. Then we discovered that he has been held. What, 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 so the crew is there. The promoter is sold out, you know. And there's no lead singer, no, no lead singer. So that, that becomes a problem. The promoter is very jitty and, you know, he's, he's man, he's nervous. He's checking me. We, we were there like three, four days before the, the venue. So we had a lot of time. Okay. Um, one of the morning he comes to me and said, well, he was thinking last night, let just do some promo, some other promo, some radio and stuff like that. And what, what do I think about singing, doing the show back with Dan Carlos and Gatti? Mm. Gatti was on the show single and did, and Dan was on the show sing. Both of them was on the show as solo act. Okay. And I said, all right, not, not funny. So we do some promotion and do some TV thing and thing and start advertising the show as the return of Black Hole, you know? Mm -hmm. So we did that show. It was a success. It was a, it was sold out before. It would still be a success mm -hmm. in some way. But we did it. Me, Dan, and God, we thought it was a success. And there was this guy there who had just formed a company by the name of Mesa Blue Moon, mm -hmm. subsidiary of Atlantic Record. Okay. And the guy was scouting for Ak. Mm -hmm. Didn't have no Ak on his rostrum. And he was at that show and saw us. Was very impressed of what he saw and heard. And he checked me and said, boy, bam, bam, I'm interested and thing and thing and the like, blah, blah. And I would just sign. Me, God, and Dan come together. I sent for God. Mm -hmm. God had fly out and leave God in California after the show. Okay. I had this friend by the name of Sidney Wolf keep saying, you know, I'm saying, well, yeah, we can't work with God because you don't want to drop the thing for too long. Mm -hmm. I usually I never, when I, when I sing, I leave, I never try to let it lapse for too long. Got you. Because then the momentum drops, you know, mm -hmm. drop on. Sidney was more into getting God than even me, you know. Okay. And, I, and I, you know, I'm saying, yeah, Doc, man. Because even with Junior, he was the one who was 100% behind Junior also, you know. Mm -hmm. Him and my wife, you know. Because I didn't do it off of my own. And I just do it because them was saying, yeah, you know. Make it happen. And because I remember Junior was a sing J, you know. Mm -hmm. Less him, less him pack. Out of all the Uros, then, that's where the less him pack was, you know. You Anyhow. Think so? Huh? You think so? Yeah, I don't think so. I know so. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah, it, that lesson park was there. Okay. And we did the show, it was a success. We came flying to Jamaica, me and Wolf and thing. God is living in LA, Dan is living in LA. And we contact them and God come in and thing and whatever, whatever. And we signed to that guy. At this time, did you guys have management at this time here now? Uh, at that time, at that time, no, we don't have the money at that time. No, we didn't have any management when we were working with 
got that at that time and then got them link up back. Mm-hmm. I don't remember having any management. If down the line, if I remember, I will let you know. But I don't think we had any management. Okay, and this deal now, because remember, you went through the island already, you went through the RAS situation already. So was this a better contract at this time here now? Because this time now, you know, you know, the manager them is the damage of them, you know. In reggae music, you're getting ripped off left, right, and center. But by that time now, at least I had some experience in the business and said, because I've been through courthouse with Chris contracts. These guys haven't been this this might be their first major contract mm-hmm. for both of them. See? Remember I, I had I, I was with a with a company already, went through contracts. I had lawyers, accountants, mm-hmm. publicists, um, so called managers, you know, goofers. So I, I could not be tricked that easily. No. Mm-hmm. So when the contract was presented to, to us or to me, it, it you know we look it over obviously i gave it to a lawyer because it was a simple contract okay. they might give you seventy five thousand dollars to do an album and then we are signed with a four or five year per year and the contract moves up very good mm-hmm. like seventy five thousand for the first one hundred and hundred and much hundred and fifty five hundred and fifty hundred and twenty five thousand for the second one. By the third one we're up to three hundred and thousand going up to four or whatever, whatever. Guy go up, you know? Mm-hmm. It all and, I guess it's all based on performance. Oh of, well if if a company keeps picking it up every year that mean he's telling you that he's not making any money but it must be he must be making money for for, for keep picking it up every year. Why would he be wasting money? Do you know how they pay royalties, Muzzle? How explain to us when, when, when the royalty you earn mm-hmm. if you sign a 15 if you sign a contract from a guy and, and, and he give you 200 or 300,000 for, for, for advance and he's giving you 13 or 15 percent from that album, mm-hmm. like sales, whatever you never usually get any money because. He, he's taking he, he's taking it, it, it the, from the fifteen percent, all money spent, and all all things are calculating from fifteen percent or thirteen percent. It's not you, 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 you press you press ten thousand album and you sell it for fifteen thousand dollar per album and it's hundred and fifty thousand dollar. You, you don't get royalty from hundred and fifty thousand dollar. Mm-hmm. All thing is working out within your thirteen percent that you are getting. That's okay. why you got enough man don't get no money. Mm-hmm. And them keep telling us say you owe them. Hmm. You know, because if a guy spend five hundred thousand dollars on a project and I collect from thirteen percent a year earnings, and you not earn nothing, <laughs> then it will take him a lifetime for collect back from five hundred thousand. So that's why there, no money is always there. See? Wow. That that was all those contract words and all them collect. Modern day time now things change up. Mm-hmm. You know, last past in America and enough thing we have to pay the artists now. And things change up and things. What in my days you know? So we signed with this guy. And our first album was Black Hour Now. Yes. Which is a redone. Okay. Of the album that we did for Jamis. Mm-hmm. Because if we did that CD for, J- for Jamis and him could release it so many times, that CD must have a, some magic inside of it. Mm-hmm. So our first CD for this project was Black Hole Now. You know? Mm-hmm. Furthermore, when I met back then them now when we start work but the agreement was this is a guy you now who is not fear and want everything for himself and not good and is not a good guy. I share all earnings straight across the board for me and them. <laughs> so if I was a guy who was not fear want everything for myself 
and is very greedy. How could I call you back into my group after 18 to 20 years you left? And I have created history with the group, winning Grammy, doing this, doing that, and I accept you back now. Right? I could not be a bad guy. Plus, sharing the proceeds equally right across the board right across the board plus i was not responsible for paying those guys mm -hmm. we were signed to mesa blue moon as black Oro. but those two guys know that black Oro is mines because you run left it 20 years now and you, you go there you make a career as dan carlos and you got to make a career as Wailing Soul. Did 13 album with Wailing Soul according to you? Do many work with Wailing Soul. You only did four albums with Black Oro. Don't forget that. Mm -hmm. And the four nominations you got was with Black Oro. Your achievement with Wailing Soul was like C, C+. I hear you make a statement, say, you are an original wailing soul. You need to take back that statement and apologize to the world. Or I, Ducky Simpson, need to apologize to you for that statement. Because let me tell you something. Mm -hmm. When I met you and you carried me to Trench Town, as where I asked you to do, because I find out that you know about Mali. You know all of these guys. He, he um, Joe Higgs, him, you name them. You know, junior graduate. You really know those guys for true. Then Roy Wilson, all of them. Bob really used to rehearse in your yard for true. Your mother know Bob for true. And you know all of them. But let me, Doc Simpson, tell you something. You was not a singer. You was a sportsman when I met you. You was a very good footballer. And you was a very good cricketer. Your brother, Tony Dennis, was a top cricketer for Jamaica. And him way to the West Indies. He even ended up playing World Cup for Canada. Okay. Your next brother, who is Dango D, which is your smaller brother, was a top schoolboy footballer. A man skill could play football alongside each other for very technical. Okay. You can't ask skill call about him. And when I hear them talk about great football in a Jamaica, I don't hear them call Dango D's name. Hmm. And you got he was a very good sportsman. See him? Sports was his thing originally there. Yes, but him know all the singers. Where you hear him name out that to you that him know him know all of them. I never even know that him was in responsible for the name Wheelers. Is in the interview I hear that. And but I not going to say nothing upon that still. I will listen. Mm -hmm. You have a brother named MacDonald. We call him bread. Mm -hmm. My pipe right on. From the day my pipe come together, them don't leave them one another. That's what we call loyalty. Mm -hmm. When God to take me to Trench Town and I meet Wailing Soul, because them is the first live musical people me ever meet now, you know. Mm -hmm. It was pipe, bread, body, and the next man named Boo. Mm -hmm. I even learned a lot from Boo in during our money. Boo was my real our money singer man. Mm -hmm. You know? And I don't know that he has no wailing soul. I never hear that history say was wailing soul before. Mm -hmm. So you're going to have to go clear up that with a brother named Bread. We sing with wailing soul. In name Bread. In name McDonald, I will call him Bread. Okay. Because Wailing Soul was bread, pipe, body, and bow. Mm -hmm. That was the original members of Wailing Soul. That is how I know it. I never, 
when I go in, I never knew hear that that was not original Wailing Soul. And Wailing Soul was also Pipe and the Pipers. Okay. You know that you know that history? No. When Bob signed them, Bob signed them and changed them name mm -hmm. to Pipe and the Pipers. Start call for himself wailing wailers. Okay. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So I don't know. God has no original wailing soul. Mm -hmm. But to clean up that, as I say in the first part, mm -hmm. him going to apologize for a, a, a national apology if him wrong. And if I wrong, I, I, I will get a small apology because he might take on claim to the big old manic of them. You understand? Mm -hmm. And the man there was heavyweight. Yeah. Him no responsible for writing not your for, for wailing soul and them thing there. And Dilly was the writer. Mm -hmm. That is the same man when he pipe. See, the lead singer we call him Dilly. Because they used to call him Lico Dilly. And that man could have played a guitar and, and, and send you to Africa and come back and trill you. So like Bob Marley. See? When the man they sing, you know, move. During my time around Wailing Soul, and I spent a lot of time around them. Years. I never knew God has no writer for Wailing Soul. And when got to meet her in a waterhouse, in a teens, natty dreadlock and fire red, I tell you out. Seeing I tell to the max. Rebirth of full time substance. Hmm. See? I did something there as a youth. The only little dreadlock in the place. Only dreadlocks from Big Road. First Big Road dreadlocks. Because there's two ancient dreadlocks so you see there as youth, you know. One name Presser Foot and one name Cat. But they dip on an high extreme like banana leaf and mm -hmm. cocos bag and man the walk where river go be here every day. Mm -hmm. And you know. But I, I, I didn't have certain spirit, but I never had a way the focus bag and the, the banana leaf and them things because I was kind of fashion dread in my youth days, you know. Mm -hmm. you and like the, the style, you like the fashion, you like the, you know what I mean? Most of me are trash from me and I'm a teen. <laughs> me are wear silk and leather and satin and them things from me and I'm a teen. Mm -hmm. See? Yeah, man. Crazy. So, okay, so then clear that up there now. I, as you were saying, the first album you guys did was a remake that you guys did for Jammies, which was Love Crisis was the original name, and then he put it out under another name, but then you guys redid it, and it was called Black Yohuru Now. Yes. Okay, and with this one now, what I notice is instead of just there being one lead, I notice that you guys kind of shared the lead. Sometime it would be you, sometime it would be Garth, sometime it would be Don Carlos. It would be Every one of you guys did leads at different parts in that album there. And that's how we keep working until it came up to the, the final. We all did leads on all the albums then. Mm -hmm. You know? When I knew Gotti, Gotti didn't have a song. He never write a song yet. Mm -hmm. Never. It's when he linked with me, he write that song, which was not his. It was a Curtis Mayfield song. And him repen it. And it, it took me years to find out after. And that was how it was. Him didn't even tell me as him. I was like him best friend, you know. And him was like, me, me live at the man yard for years. Then the man eat out of the same pot. Sleep in the same house. Him is a footballer, or a cricketer. Me they would dunk on the field. Them play football. Up, we will run boat, just smoke ganja pipe. We are go through the whole nine. Me and this man in a, in a part company. Young time we part company is when him walk going a in bedroom. Mm -hmm. And me walk going in my room. And 
the living room where me I go sleep. The house is big, so I think maybe me have a bedroom. Yeah. The house is very big. And with them time they were part company. We wake up a morning and me and him. We go and see and me and him. My girlfriend and Juliet, female girlfriend and Barnaby, two best friends. Me and him are two best friends. And that's how we are live for years. Mm-hmm. And now this man here will say, oh, doc, he me just dead the man. And me are the man. And me are the man. A water house. If me that deal with badness, I me that be water house done. It's when I say so. Mm-hmm. But you me know badness and singing not got together. They don't mix. You have to decide. Mm-hmm. So you have to give him have to give me credit and all of them water house you there. We you see no give me no credit when them attack. The whole of them, none of them no give me no credit. See, it's because I'm afraid for can't give donkey credit because me are the man. Mm-hmm. You set the foundation. You did certain. Even things. Jamis, when he talk, him not give me no big credit. Mm-hmm. No talk about me. And me have to tell people, say, me and him used to part from when I was teen. I hear me and him apart. Me and him a big friend. Mm-hmm. Him not tell people them things. I don't know him once to so. Who are the man them? Why so do we don't really... know, and know is a success. <laughs> okay, with even now, some of the songs, I know one of the songs was in a movie soundtrack for uh, Men at Work, the one, Take Heed. Ah, I remember, man, I'm Men at Work. Yeah, mm-hmm. the research, man. Take Heed, big, big song in the soundtrack, because remember, you guys were signed to add, you guys were signed to a company that was a subsidiary of Atlantic. Wait, 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 which song was that again? It's a Take Heed? Yeah. Sure. I didn't even, yeah, yeah, I remember. But I remember the title of the movie more that you just call, you know. Mm-hmm. Men at work. Men at work. Mm-hmm. Yeah, man. I remember With, that. Uh, Emilio Estevez and um, what was his name there? Charlie Sheen. But, like, you know the same. Yes, we have to take it step by step. But no, no, was successful. We move on now to the next album. Mm-hmm. Iron Storm. Iron Storm. Yes. Ah. Mm-hmm. Uh, don't remember much boy and storm. That's my title track, I know. Mm-hmm. By this time now, I'm doing by this time now, from a link up with from a stop working with, with, with Michael Rose and Sly and Robbie, I'm doing full time producing now. Okay. I, 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 I'm responsible for my, for my stuff now. You know, producing, co producing with Russ. Mm-hmm. Have a lot of say now. With with, with the island days, didn't have any say about producing or a thing like that. Mm-hmm. You know, co-producing the stuff now. What I want here, what I want here, blah blah blah. You know. Let me tell you some of the big songs that was on Iron Storm. One of them was Colorblind Affair. Sure. That was my Canadian friend. Mm-hmm. The great drummer, the great worldwide drummer, Richard Tate. Mm. from the band Bobby Womack write a couple of hit songs for Bobby Womack too he was a big big songwriter and one of the greatest drummer mm-hmm. even Sly I rate him certain way to one of the heaviest drummer ever come across international you know not talking like uh, but as an international drummer out there, one of them guys, yeah, man, the greats never come up. He wrote that song, Colorblind Love Affair. And is that album Tip of the Iceberg was on too? I was just about to tell you about that. That's the one you guys did it twice. There was a single, and then there was a remix with Ice T. Yes. Mm-hmm. He, he wrote that song too. Okay. Tip of the Iceberg. Um, he was very disappointed in how the company treated that song tip of the iceberg mm-hmm. you know and them the, you know these companies these foreign companies it, uh, what once you start doing good you know so after now did good everybody now is directing and everybody have a say and all these clown in the record company everybody know what this now must do now and that now and you know them kill that song them had that song for three years deciding what to do with that song. We're going to make a video with that Steve, then after we're going to make a mini flame, and then after we're going to do this, and then after we're going to do that. 
and the song is there and you know we all pissed off because what is these people doing my songwriter from Canada and because I was close to them came in living Jamaica for seven years you know okay yeah and thing and was very close yeah. did that song have something to do with the um Rodney King incident that happened in LA tip of the iceberg yeah could be uh, the radio TV news crying of a nation if, if, right if that was the time of the Rodney King thing maybe I'm right across the board. Jobs and child abuse. We say evil rule, you know. Famine winds of war, eternal pollution. Yeah. But, well, I don't sure if it was exactly about the Rodney King stuff. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but that, that is like across the board, worldwide, you know. Got you. It end up, that's... When them get everything together, I can't even remember the day my ice tea was flaming, man, and, and I reached on the scene and the dope scene and... She cut me and I say, yeah, Jamaican man, mother. Yeah, you know, you wanna, you wanna, you wanna spin the spin the the block with my Benz, man. Just buy a Benz, just buy a custom built Benz and him give me it and tell me to spin the block and feel how it feel and me ride it round two block and carry it back come give him and I saw we kick it and thing and flame the video and mm-hmm. and when the man them release the song them ban it. The same week. What? You remember Ice Tea Cop Killer? Yes. Them just ban Ice Tea Cop Killer and everything with Ice Tea involving and come out pan. And I saw that song they get killed, you know. Mm. Say so long. The man them have the song bad man. Wow. And them timing out a line. Yeah. Mm-hmm. In a them time the ice tea act like fire. Mm-hmm. And we semi at and, and the tune big. Mm-hmm. See, they spend out the company spend out for money on the tune too, you know. Uh, the, the, the video alone was nearly four hundred thousand US in that time. At that time, there too. Yes, mm-hmm. and and plus other expenditure, and as we say, all these directors and all these clown of the company, them keep the song and clown out man song till when them release it, it ban. Mm-hmm. That cool up that song and thing. I, I, I'm a songwriter. I, 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 I never too like you know record company again. So them go on. And, mm-hmm. Yeah. Because what what I find is you see that those first two albums, the Now and the Iron Swarm, when you guys came back all together, to me, those were two of your best albums. Once you guys came back together. Overall. From yeah, from you came back with um Garth and Don Carlos to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those were, were up, 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 up from Junior Reed work. That's what I'm telling you. Mm-hmm. That's what I said to you earlier, and that's within the run. The the the, the work from Junior Reed time was the the least effective, mm-hmm. which was brutal and positive. Mm-hmm. Don't get me wrong, brutal was a good album. Which one Positive was Positive was Skyna. Week. Which one was Fit Ya Fit Fit? Which one was that? At? That was a single. The first song we did with Junior Reed, we had to add a number one and make sure of that. Likewise, the first tour than Jubilees worldwide, I had to use Sly and Robbie. You understand? We'll get to go out there and my best footing. So I make sure that song was a number one, Fit Ya Fit Fit. Mm-hmm. That was the first single when, when, when Reed come into the group. That's it. We did it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I remember that picture now. But okay, moving on now to your next album, which would be um, Mystical Truth. This came out, I think, in 1992. Mystical Truth, I love that album, you know? Yeah. Yeah, I like that album, you know? Because again, we, had an ex-co-writer, we had an ex-co-writer that we was working with, too, you know? Mm-hmm. A, a, a scientist by the name of Jacko. Was a, a Rasta, say a Rasta, and he was Rasta, and he was Bob Marley friend too. Okay. He was the first man in Jamaica who made a car, you know, and give it to get it to Siag and all of them, and then try to eat it. And one bag of mumbo jumbo, Jacko the scientist. Okay, he, he, he went on to making like ch- him all these computer stuff. When he was introducing me to computer and telling me about computer, I didn't have a clue what I'm talking about. <laughs> you know, and, and I'm working with the Pentagon. And, you know. Okay. 
Hmm. Yeah. Smart, uh, smart man. <laughs> it's too smart. <laughs> yeah, I could have painted again. Yeah, man, very the scientist man. I drive on them thing, them invent them on. You know? He invent one and two songs for us too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like third world nation seeking in seeking in, in, in debt. Trade all my gold and diamond for blood, sweat, and tears. Yes. You know, it, it was written, but I think God is singing that song. Mm -hmm. You know, and brutal might have been his one too. Him right okay. brutal. You can pen a few songs for us. And we'll have a next writer too, named Norman Francis mm -hmm. Fano. That was the guy who I sing with Wheel and Soul before God you know. mm -hmm. Yes, I remember you said that in All the, right. part, the first That's part. Fano, that Fano, that is the guy. Mm -hmm. who, he he pen a one on one song for it, too, you know. Mm -hmm. But we usually do most of our penning, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because I see that. With even truth, how did that do for you guys as a group right now? And how were you guys in your career at what that time? How did what do for us? Mystical truth. How did that do for you guys' career then? And how were you guys getting along <laughs> as a group then too? Well, we used to get along good more than before the, the group before. Like when we used to work with with Sly and Robbie and Michael, a lot of tension and things. No, we were cool. Because me and Dan, them never really have anything, you know. Dan just went on to be a postman, and God, he went with Wheel and Soul. Mm -hmm. So the three of us was the original Loro, but they leave. And for 18, 20 years, we link up back again, you know. So we were cool, best of friends. Because my mommy and God has been friends all the life, you know. Mm -hmm. Me and God has been friends all the life. See? Now, this is when I start to earn some money. Okay. Because all along I wasn't earning any money, you know. Hmm. Come on, like me, $12,000 a year and $1,000 a month with my lifestyle and all me flex. Mm -hmm. And I didn't earn no money against Ross Record neither. And give me $35,000 for, for Brutal, share it up for the Trawe, me, Puma, and Junior. And him give me thirty thousand dollars for positive, mm -hmm. and that's it. No publishing, so, no royalties, nothing. So now with me a blue moon, I am driving M three now, <laughs> and I own sports Nissan van. You know, and my lifestyle step up. Got me a, me a tour ad, and me a earn good money for tour now. Seeing so things, me I earn some money now, not bully per money, but mm -hmm. you know, me I go on good, you know, much better than before. Mystical Truth, I'm one of my favorite album that you know, that I still listen to album like that, okay, like Mystical Truth, you know, mm -hmm. yeah, because and, again, this is where you guys were sharing the leads, you. Garth, we share the lead on, on the all four albums, mm -hmm. you know. But I was more attached to these albums because I say I, I had put in more input in these albums, you know, mm -hmm. as the producer plus singer, you know. Right. During those time now, we won Diamond Awards. It was during that time? During that got the time then, yeah. We won. I was the first reggae artists are the first I got an award from Opilan mm -hmm. we are 15 Indian tribe come together and bow down on my feet and give me an award named the princess of the Khan that is one of the highest award in the United States Indian tribe, 15 tribe came together and gave me that award. Okay. <laughs> Princess of the Khan. It was and given what to was me. It, eh? what, was it, what was it for? What was it to represent? Well, that's what the Black Hura music and thing. Mm -hmm. we, we, this, we, we went to Opilan. You ever hear of Opilan? Where is that? On the reservation in Arizona. Mm -hmm. You drive in the desert for like eight, ten hours. Mm -hmm. You reach Opilan and 
the Indians, you know, you have Sexus, you have Chinese, you have all these Indian tribes. Mm -hmm. They keep a ceremonial and, and gave me that, the princess of the Khan. Mm -hmm. I was driving with a taxi guy in New York and some argument and I told him that I got the princess of the Khan and the guy almost jumped out and care. <laughs> Gotti and Dan was so pissed because they gave them two buttons. Mm -hmm. Gave them two buttons. They threw away that. <laughs> <laughs> they threw away the two buttons. I was so upset. But the Indian chief and all these Indians saw what was what was inside of them, man. Mm -hmm. Because we did get, we did we did good. You know, it's good tours and yeah. Do you remember any standout moment when it came to a tour that you guys did or a show that you guys did together? Standout moment? Yeah, something where like, this show like in prob particular, like, prob like problem? No, no, not problem. Like a good show, like this show in particular, really sticks in your mind forever. Some either the country, the vibe, or mostly something. Most of the time, they appear big show with the mostly. <laughs> <laughs> Sure, stick number mine is like Rock Palace, mm -hmm. and that was that damn them days. Mm -hmm. Um, show like Japan, mm -hmm. Silica Live Under the Sky, Black Oro, Gil Evans, Herbie and Cock. Mm -hmm. First, me see a man play for the keyboard, you know. Mm -hmm. Them show that like Rainbow, Crystal Palace, you know. Mm -hmm. Them show the stand out in my head, you know. And we are got to them do some heavyweight show too, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, heavyweight show. Because at this you time, know, you guys like Rolling Stone, stadium. Police, them things that stand out in my mind, eh? You guys are doing stadiums at this time here now. Black Oro with Michael Rose carry the thing right to the top of the highway. Mm hmm. We were right in the starting gate now. We were in the starting gate. Mm -hmm. we, we, we did everything. All need was to come to us now was the money. We were on the top of our game. Rolling Stone Railway as the greatest thing behind Bob, the king of reggae. And we get all the ratings. So we did it. So that's why when Junior get it, he was just living off of that fame mm -hmm. you understand that fame that road was already pure fame everything was pure fame but uh but my step from rose to read mm -hmm. the it appeared already you know and we undone them good they come to the fourth album now strong by that time now bad mind start tripping Remember, I am sharing the proceeds equal, you know. Mm -hmm. I am sharing the tour money. I don't pay. When when you tour the road, you pay away. I don't angle money with none of my singers. Mm -hmm. I've never stretched grass. I, I never go up on the road or tour yet. I do any music deal or anything and get paid. I'm paying a man. Don't work, so. See? I don't work, so. In, in, in other days of Koro Koro Michael, you had to pay him wife. Mm -hmm. You know? All proceeds go to her. And you better make sure it goes to her. <laughs> you know? And thing, I don't pay people. Mm -hmm. I don't pay people. None of my deal them. And then I call. So even working at Mesa Blue Moon now, is Mesa Blue Moon. All money transaction goes straight to them. Mm -hmm. Then everybody goes to them and takes care of management, takes care of you guys from their type. Also, if I management, managing, pay them out the road. Yeah, I don't pay. It's not that as I collect from the company and then say, all right, Dan, A, B, C, D. All right, that A, B. No. Jim, give me my one. Mm -hmm. Him give Dan fee one. Him give Gatti fee one. When we go up on the tour, the road he give me my own, him get got the fee on, him get done. So I don't responsible for them money. So comments like, well, people no fear and Ray and Ray 
A man like me will share the proceeds straight across the board, no fear, uh, for your jump ship. 18 year. Okay, so you say it's by the fourth album, which is strong, is where the problems really started right now between you guys. Le, um, could, be, could, could be after recording it or, or into that time, yeah? Mm-hmm. The problem started now by... I don't want peace out of band, you know. In other words, the two of them said they want two, a third of the name. Mm-hmm. The, the money is not enough now. Because they rent about the group. And it's them start it. This is them grouse. It's them start it. And them rent about now. And them, and them are the four year now. Mm-hmm. The, the, the next album is the next big album, Money Good, too. So, and I'm a come to fight. So, I say, well, I share the proceeds equally with the item and whatever. Because the two of them, it's not me and Gatti anymore, you know. Mm-hmm. It's Dan and Gatti. Got you. And me now. Mm-hmm. So in other words, Gatti becomes more friend with Dan now. Mm-hmm. Both of them have the same spirit, so I would say nothing about that because. I have a different spirit from them. Mm-hmm. We have never fall out. We have never fight. Like with Wheel and Soul, we are got and fight them at big fight. Mm-hmm. And when when you ask him what happened to him and Wheel and Soul, him, him kind of go around the question. Me, 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 none of my singer them never physically fight mm-hmm. or get no no and thing. So them said they want two-thirds of the group. I'm sure them said that can't work. Mm-hmm. If I give you two-thirds of the group, who not have a own majority of the group? Got you. I don't mind give them something. You know. mm-hmm. But okay, if you so give you them two-thirds willing. of the group, they might take out the group from me, and that is what they plan. So you were willing to, to relinquish something, but not the majority? Well, of course, I'd give them something. Then if I can share the proceeds together, I will share the group with my brethren. But them for still respect, say, me keep it for 2018 years. Mm-hmm. Me only never have nothing on the leave, leave on the one, and me keep it, and me carry it to a level. Mm-hmm. So I have to respect that. Well, it's a go on and we are work and you know, the vibes now, and very, 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 but that you have this lady now, lady again. My problem now is lady again. <laughs> she's starting, she's an American. And these American ladies, some of them tend to be very cocky. And them more aggressive than Jamaican women. And them think them can deal with man any kind of way and talk to you any kind of way. Where with me, that was not the game. You can't talk to me any kind of way. Mm-hmm. Tension are gone. Them went and talked to a guy named Stanberry. Light Stanberry. I don't know if you ever hear about that guy there yet. Name sounds familiar. He is a music liar. Okay. He came, Sly and Robbie them introduced him into the music scene in Jamaica. That's how I know him. Okay. Them talk to Stanberry and Stanberry is briefing them about the situation. Them talking to a next liar named him call himself some Pan-African same a pan Africanist, him come from Jamaica. I never call him name, because you a liar, I never call him name. Mm-hmm. Same a pan Africanist, the man, him friend from the radio station. Mm-hmm. I don't know what I mean by that, but them a pan Africanist. And I born pan Africanist. Mm-hmm. And I African. So them I get briefing from those two liars, music liars, and that next liar, pan African guy. I brief them because I think I even saw the Pan African guy, liar guy, in California at the trial. Okay. You know, I think so, if I can remember. So it, it, it's getting, it's the same thing. I find myself back in and out, people, them, man, yeah, man, him for this piece of the group, man, and we can't take it in front of him, blah, blah, blah. Me and them have a talk, me and show them so that now it'll work, you know. I can't win neither. It no make sense. It got here. Well, them took it there. The show that God talk about in Jamaica. Mm-hmm. 
World Music Festival or whatever, or Jazz Festival. They were booked the year before that mm-hmm. to do a big show in Jamaica. They were booking show by now, you know. After the last album, and we start having problem now. And the group break up. Mm-hmm. I was out there working as Black Oro, and they were out there working as Black Oro also. I, I play in Brazil it. at this spot tonight, mm-hmm. and I moved to Curitiba, then play at the same spot the next night. And the people look at them enjoy booking the both of us as Black Oro. Mm-hmm. So them take over the name now and them working as Black Oro also. We're in them came into Black Oro and them now the documents for say them are Black Oro. We let them in back. Mm-hmm. So the spear fighter go on now, one bag of arms house now, and them are use the name now and rare. So I tell them to stop using the name and them now stop so. Me have to fling a lawsuit upon them. Okay, so then the, the lawsuit came from your side because you tried to talk to them first and say, stop using your name, and that didn't work. No, remember, you get this track come up, you know. The man in the right try to use my name, because like, name my own. Mm-hmm. But that is the problem. As what well, you say, you, you ask me, say, what is it with this name? This name look like it have power. But the power it have is just freedom, because that it mean, you know. Mm-hmm. All of the singer them who come work with me apart from Andrew Bees, mm-hmm. all of them things so them is them one black hole. Mm-hmm. Who they believe it? Black hole is for them one. That's why there's always a fight with the name and, and, and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. So I had to sue them. What was I was like? still what was it like having to actually sue? somebody that would have been your best friend that you grew up with what was that thought like in your mind well i had to sue them i had no choice them taking away my name mm-hmm. they might take on my grammy name and, and, and mm-hmm. but to 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 my iq race i know this is a case them cannot win mm-hmm. so when i sue them i think they're back off them have this little joker named terry Rindal, which is the manager Mm-hmm. I mean, I tell you, yeah, some people are cocky, you know. Can't. Them have a little guy named Terry Rindal, who is the manager, who, who is them support, and they're behind them to one thing. And this is the same booking agent who is booking them as Black Oro. Mm. So the, it, it is now me, it is now God, Dan and Terry Rindal fighting me, you now, Ducky for the name mm-hmm. and thing. But the record company, what the thing them never know. This guy, Jim Snowden, from the record company. Iron M becomes friend. The CEO. Mm-hmm. Real friend. Cause come to Michael Ross, you know, all Ducky do is take up people friend then. Now, big on a channel now. I mean by take up people friend then. Then man come in at the crew and thing on a, on a par and so the real nine star general, you know, friars. Take on a man friend and for a love man. <laughs> so Jim now start even come to Jamaica, come check me and thing. In the meantime, no, I tell you so the problem I go on now. <laughs> because them have it now, them head now. Say I rob them. Money wise or of the day? Yes, no, yes, money wise. I didn't even know. <laughs> Is in a courthouse, them thing that talk and maybe them talk before them send out. I rob them twenty thousand dollar. Mm-hmm. You know I go and rob them twenty thousand dollar now. We in Hollywood, not a, we in a president office kickback or fly in whatever the mission is recording or what tour and we're there the office and we was talking about something. We and Jim, Jim is the C, the guy who won the company. Mm-hmm. I don't remember what the conversation was, and him say, him can lend we our money. Mm-hmm. The man can lend we our 20 or 40 thousand dollars if we want. And I said to Jim, say, lend I 20 thousand. And Jim get up, whatever I'm going to do. And when him get up, I said to Dan and God, say, no, no, borrow some money. 
You hear the man say, my lend me some money. A record company, this, you know. Mm -hmm. And I refuse money from them. And Dan, I think Dan make a statement, say, everything cool, man. Monday when you come in, we just check in. Because he said, I was to pick up the check Monday. Okay. Spend the weekend with them. Monday when we go to the office, Jim Snowden fly out to Paris. And he left the $20,000 check with the secretary. And she gave me it and said, Jim, say, forget this. And one of them said to me, when we get the check and thing, I said, well, you let off a food and thing. And I said, no, I don't let off no food, you know. 20 pack, you my one. Borrow, I borrow it. I mean, I tell myself to borrow some money from the man now, so now we wait till Monday. And that was a belly. Because watch this now. I come down. And when I come down, which part I live, the one I say, watch me, I sell the place, you know. Mm. And A, B, C, D, G, D, and me take the $20,000 and put some more money upon it. And mortgage the place. Mm -hmm. Place have a big music room downstairs, big big music room where we can rehearse and thing and do all this stuff. And this is our next level for we now. We have all our equipment and rare rare. But I didn't know so the two man them had it in their mind that 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 place was for the three of us. I mean, no, so no man can't buy no place or give me no money for buy a place to so no tree, man. Mm -hmm. With so much picnic. And we never go into them argument there. I borrow the money, which I paid back. So this, these man is carrying a belly for me now. For your money where I pay back. So that build them up more now because I rob them. I take out the $20,000 and I go buy a house. And then folks can buy it anything. I'm mm -hmm. gonna buy your house mm -hmm. and yo should I be for the tree away? Cause this our rear son. Them things say the house was for the tree away car at this our rear son. So it's one bugger thing. But was was everybody in the meeting and heard exactly what this money was for? Everybody was there, or you came back to them and told them what it was. But me, I get the drama, the tree away sit down at the man office. Mm -hmm. We not talk business with no one man. Mm -hmm. And the tree away, we are on the tree, the, the man on the tree away, a friend, and time we are talking about business at the tree away. The, them not the office the day, sit down right beside me there. So everybody's clear, everybody, you didn't have to say. Well, look, right them are losing it because I know I'm clear, I mean, know what the man say, I mean, hear what the man say, I'm a borrow 20,000, and me, I said to them, so I'm gonna borrow some money from the man. And the 20,000 was at 20,000 that I paid back to James Snowden. Mm -hmm. But this is where build up now them head. With them and them girl, you know, at them thing they are build up to them head. So at them vibes they are pitch off now. Make them problem a go on. Make them one, two thirds of the name now. And everything I wrap up in a one. Mm -hmm. So what pity them never know. Alright. Final meeting with the boss now was in Burbank, California. Mm -hmm. And ABC and me I show the boss say it done, you know. Don't work with them money at ABC and the boss said, What about chat? The company sell, you know, I just sell my company. And Atlantic say they may take you know, with the whole package and they may give you know, X amount of dollars if you know first down payment a contract and Every man demeanor change now because the money, they hear the money. <laughs> and I look now, I said, I said, them two clowns are a joker, you know. And I just said, no, I'm not take the deal, I'm turn down the deal. Okay. That make it worse. Because mm -hmm. I said, them money now have me interest, them money are fighting me for the name. And them money are talking about me take my money by house. Remember, this is a man who shared the money we don't know for years equally, you know. Hmm? Hmm. And now, so I turned down the deal. And them tape, them, uh, when I'm a road, they the road, tape the meeting, tape the meeting, and give them on a cassette with all kind of things attack. Hmm? 
all kind of things and rare. So when them never know say I was back by the company for fight them, but uh I had some high profile liars, real California high profile liars compared to Fidem Lico Sprat liar we came wear a good pair of shoes. So there's no way them could have beat me in the case. Because mm -hmm. my lawyer them was high profile. Before I go court every morning, I go to my lawyer firm and, and, and them stylists look upon it. Because lawyer firm have stylists and them people, you know. And makeup okay. people and them people, you know. And me put on, to me look, and me take out a jacket to, to, to match me for an hour and get myself proper. Every morning I go out there so I get myself proper. Mm -hmm. Jacket is present to me and them thing they and tie and rare because I don't have none of them clothes. Eh? Mm -hmm. And I saw me go to court. Them have a lick of foo foo liar, them could have win. Them lose a case. Mm -hmm. The judge tell them say, not because the man share the money equally. That does not mean you owe you own none of the thing. The man was the judge even asked me why I do that. Mm -hmm. But the reason why me share the money with them equally, me never want them get bad mind. Got you. And say me I earn more than them and it still never work still never work mm -hmm. you know how long how long did the case last for from 90 from 94 to what to about 98 okay so this was like a good four years so you guys were in court in a big case los angeles supreme court man a big case you know the whole 17 jury or, or 13 jury them fine so the nano claim to the thing and I was awarded 800,000 US. And I did not try to collect a cent from them. Hmm. Liar, them say, we can't put on the law feet, the liar feet on them, and we can't, and we can't lock down them earning, you know. Lock down them pay bill. Anything them earn, lock down. Hmm. And me never collect a cent from them up till today. Me just love them. Mm -hmm. Because yeah. I guess you wanted to do it to defend your name, not to really do That's anything. That's what I said. It's few people that would allow them. Mm -hmm. I could attach on the man, on the man, them pay bill, done pay bill, and wherever done work. Mm -hmm. And Dan did surely a lot of work after that. Mm -hmm. Dan did a lot of work after that. Got you did one and two till him drop off of the scene. Where is he now? You have a program and say, Where is he now? You understand? Dan, Dan went on and be successful. Mm -hmm. Ducky went on and did okay. And where did you go? Dan leave him on the wayside. Mm -hmm. After them lose the case, Dan tell him bye bye. And blame him for getting mixed up in a this all ramba shamba. <laughs> One of the time you had the man never worry, I said, God, you know, so Dan I keep up. If anything, you know, remember, you know, me and you, you know, me and you start this, you know, and thing I will go for Dan, you know. Mm -hmm. And he said, don't nobody watch nothing, because whatever, I am here step with. And I say, yeah. And correction, it was not Molly who found Dan. Mm -hmm. Dan was, I, I know of Dan from him was singing in Errol Dunkley, long before God even come to White House. Mm -hmm. It was a, the day was me, him, and Lumping go check Dan Carlos. Lumping, I said, Doc, go check Dan Carlos, no? See him like him, it's say, God, today I don't know, go check him, though. It's not no Mowley. Mowley, they will come out, Mowley, they will know Dan when we did. We did a lot of long before Mowley. Hmm. And, and the guy who gave us the name, we knew him long, 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 long before Gatti. So why would he come on and, and give Gatti the name? And I was there when he gave me the name. Them thing, I think I forgot from those times there so within that four year span when all of this is going on were you guys both still using the name until it got cleared up yes mm -hmm. after the case them got them got a four run them got a four year run out of the name that's why they were doing this show in jamaica and, and, and the first show them did in jamaica i took out an injunction and stop it mm -hmm. And the show was, them took them off the bill, it was cancelled. But God don't know the difference from an injunction to a case because them, 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 them get World Music Festival the next year or, or Jazz Festival 
and let them, them try to do it again. Mm-hmm. And, 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 and I took out an injunction again. But hear why they want the injunction in the law. The law, my lawyer, the documents that you provide for the injunction the year before. When she filed the second injunction, she did not file a fresh documents. Mm. She filed about the same last year documents with even the last year date them and all kind of stupidness because this lawyer was, she run out of the court, leave me. That trial took place on a Saturday. Mm-hmm. In a Jamaica, on a Saturday. And the judge, we, we didn't I lose the injunction because of that. You can't use the same documents to file. Last year, injunction to come file this. And that's what how they got the go ahead to do the show. It was not a trial, it was not a case trial about the name or anything. It was just about an injunction. So he's wondering why he win the injunction in Jamaica. Where him don't know says an injunction him win. Him thinks says a case. Mm-hmm. And when it got to LA, in you know, the sub him lose the case. Because in jo- jo- Jamaica it was an injunction. Mm-hmm. It was not a case trial. It was an injunction to stop you from doing that show. Okay, so you still part. You still own the name worldwide, then, not just well, you. The name, yeah. To tell you the truth, about two years ago, I know my registration is up for a while now, so I sent in to register my name to hear to get a, a reply from the people. Them say I can't register my name because somebody's contesting the name. That is two years ago, in a big man. Mm-hmm. Like before in, in COVID, you know? mm-hmm. I said somebody's contesting the name. Then who the hell could be contesting the name? I know all of these clowns use the name, you know. The whole of them that was affiliated with Black Oil use the name. So I wonder which one of them joker, you know. I get to find out, get to it is. Michael Rose, who leave the group 30 odd years ago, is contesting my name. <laughs> little over two years ago. Mm. No, like, what? Hold on. Okay, we're gonna that get to there. Wrong with this brother. Eh? We're gonna get to there, but I want to back up a bit because <laughs> this is where he almost <laughs> comes back into the picture again. Because okay, you guys did your things for four years. You're doing your thing, but at that time, we how did um the dub pod get involved? What's his name again? Yes, a safari. Yes, a safari. Yes. How yeah, did man, man tried. Me and him tried the place, the hemisphere for a while, man. Um, I just I was at a gig one night and I just saw him performing and he mm-hmm. impressed me a lot and thing and I tell my wife, say, contact him, need to link with him. And she contact him and we link and from we link, you know. Mm-hmm. Him do years on the road with me, you know. He was black who were opening up for years. Okay. Yeah. Anting and so when did Andrew Bees get now involved with the group? Well, from the joke of them, from the joke of them, remember I tell you about that Brazil tour? Mm-hmm. You see, from my car and my steps, and I always have singer waiting in the line, you know. Mm-hmm. I always have singer waiting to be black hero. Mm-hmm. When Andrew Bees was coming from the hospital the day when he was born, I was playing football in the middle road and we stop and we look at him and I say, Ryan, and the mother say, Yeah, man, and Ray and him father. Him father was a big Rasta friend and and one to be trying to come from the, the, the hospital barn. Nine months after we were in round by Juna Reed, neighborhood Rona Wheelers, licking a chalice and hanging out, and him father woke him up in the year and say, Yes, my son. He might come lead Black Hole. Yeah, cause that was the motivation for almost every man in a water house, you know. When them see I make it happen and where I come from, it happen. Everybody get motivated, say it can happen. So he want his son to be a singer. And his son at nine months, he hold him up to the moonlight and say, he must come lead Black Hole. Mm. And so said, so done 26 years after. Or 25 years after, his son come lead Black Oro. Mm. And we had a show in England. 
And we were in the train room the night kicking back before going on stage. And who you think walk in? Him father. I say history. I predict this 20 years ago. Zeta manifest, yeah. So me have to come at the first show. We never even know say my come. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So Andrew B's coming after than them. Brazil, I think Brazil was Andrew B's first run with me. You know, my first run Andrew B is a Brazilian tour. And thing. So and was there a break? A break between the Don Carlos era and the Andrew B era? The Andrew Not B. too long, I remember we did album for all jammies now, you know. Mm -hmm. And we did more, I think we did about two albums for jammies now, you know, them break there. So once the, once the Don Carlos, then you know, Andrew B's was there ready to step in. Mm -hmm. Just recruiting Andrew B's like I'm recruiting Junior Reed. You know, like I'm recruiting Michael Rose, you know. I remember you're this. talking about the Jammies album. It's a unification album you're talking about. I think we do our next album with Jammies, you know. Aye, we did we did our next album with with Ross too. Mm -hmm. Name. You know, we did an album with Ross, Ross Record too. That's not the Dynasty. When Andrew, album. when Andrew B's link up, we went back and worked for Ross Record. Dynasty? Dynasty, yes. Mm -hmm. so I remember Ross, Ross Record was, was my before. friend. Mm -hmm. Rasha Card was my friend as much as him give me a raw deal. So we was in contact the same way. Cause all these guys who give me a raw deal, I still never carry any grudge for them. Me and them is still friend. Them don't pay me, but me and them is still friend. You know? Don't carry any grudge for them. So me and me and, me and Ross was still, you know, every time whenever I see me and him get frightened, him push a five hundred dollar per me or something. <laughs> I walk up on him down a white river. And the man speed around and see me. Muscle, the man's a fright muscle. That's the man just dip in his pocket and come up with 300 US. And just give me. I'm just saying, Andre, yeah, give me money. So if I'm going to ask you for the money, man. Mm -hmm. And the man says, okay, man, take it. And you know, up to this day, if I see him, and the man with that money, be a little small. Yeah, so bees come in there. So, so in between, you know. John is hunting and you have a time when me take off of the road to me stop for about seven years off of the road. You were off the road for a while? About seven, yeah. Yeah. And then kick back and thing. So when when we Michael come back in, come do some work when the ambies are work too, you know. Mm -hmm. See him this is twenty two thousand and seven. Mm -hmm. Saw him in Jamaica. Don't know him it from him foot. And one bag of mango, mumbo jumbo, and me and him link up again. Mm -hmm. Big press conference, people flying from all the world. Big thing, big friend getting offers, and big this management are coming in. And me and him link up, boom. Mm -hmm. And we spend some hope, and we spend some money, put on a big show, and grill, put on a big interview, up a work yard, and big thing, big thing. Press conference and do so bomb. And I don't remember if this was the time we link up with Beris, though. Yes, this this has something to do with Beris in this situation. Uh, all right, and we link up with Beris, too. And you know, Beris wanted us to do album theme and show Michael's men are on that, you know. Mm -hmm. And we do two tune theme and because. I never know Barry, so I just see him as Caitlin, but you know, Michael, them and him are friends, so it's them I follow go up there, you know, and we do two tunes, and we had an agreement with him, how oh, me and him going follow up now, we had an agreement, we're going to do, that's what we're going to do, me and Michael going to do, I, 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 I show for a guy named Warrell, Warrell King, mm -hmm. Warrell King from Savlamar West. And we're going to Berry's show, and Berry's going to our show. I think after we do Berry's show and the Warrell show, and when our show come and we start advertise our show, Berry's manager took the advertisement off of the, the radio and, and, and said, and say, can't work. You know, Berry's didn't do our show. So that was all me and Berry's really going a bad venue now, you know? Mm -hmm. 
Right. Even that, before we go too far, even with this micro situation here, you know how he left the group before. Were you weary of saying, let's do this back again? Or what was your mindset of even thinking about working with Michael Rose again at this time here? Oh, I, oh, I see music and I never say never. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't care no grudge. Mm -hmm. So the option was there. And as I said, Michael was there every yet. So chance come around again. we we'll try him again. You know? And... First time I tried him, just disappear you now. After everything set in motion, him disappear. The next time I try him, you know, go Africa and we do tours in Europe and him, him move off the same way. You know, him, him just can't stable him, you know. Him don't want really. When, when him feel like the group can do, put him certain way, then him come in and when him feel like him, they panna, him, him leave out. Him unpredictable, you know. Mm -hmm. And then now you can't. Do business or talk business with him. You have to talk to him, girl. When it was still that same situation when he came back. Oh, we are talking about the situation that never changed until now. Mm -hmm. We are say, man, you think you can make an arrangement with him? You and him sit down and people come in all from all over the world and an arrangement make and we agree upon this and that. And them girl here about that should have said, I must say, mad man. Mm -hmm. uh, though he must see a dream, he can't go on unless I me say that for one. Yeah, man. Mash up that man. Mm -hmm. Then I tell you about a man where can't collect him in, in salary. She have to collect that. If you never make the mistake, you can't collect that one day, man. You see something? Yes, sir, man. Mm -hmm. Up to this day. Mm -hmm. Because I think the one song that you guys end up did recording was a song called Dollars. <laughs> For the cat berries, eh? I told I told song with the record. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, man. And that worked out there. So then now he came back in the group. He left the group. How long did he stay in this time here now? Not long, man. Them thing your months me I tell you about, man. Okay, so it wasn't like a year, two years, or three no, years. No, man. As him come on. You remember tell us him got deported and thing, we in care of this year, and we link up. And as soon as him sort out, that him disappear. Hmm. Europe again, United Nations, can we go Africa, we are do something, things look like it all go on good again. Carnival in Brazil, we are do get some big book in. Disappear again and go on the moon. You know? Hmm. Because the fans them out there, sometimes them confused, them don't know who are black who are, you know. Mm -hmm. I don't know if a Michael Rose or Dan Carlos them or Sly and Rabbit them. Mm -hmm. Them just have the whole of as Black Oro. Or something, you look on the posters, you say, Sly and Rabbit and Black Oro. And you look, it's Michael Rose picture there on that. Mm -hmm. You know? Junior read them and the whole of them. Dan Carlos them, it's them picture there on it. You know see? So, enough people they know who is Black Oro. Mm -hmm. I hope our people are working on it because you guys, there were so many changes throughout the, the 50 mm -hmm. years back. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So then now he left, so then what was the next move? Did you guys slow down again or you just kept moving forward? Because remember, I tell you, my bees was still mm -hmm. there, you know, my bees was still, my bees never pull up, you know. As mm -hmm. much as I was doing these work with Michael, I didn't part years with bees, you know. And my, I know Michael is a king of jump ship mm -hmm. and bees never have a problem. With it neither. Wherever I can fit him in, I fit him in too. Mm -hmm. You understand? So as soon as him jump ship, it just it fall back in a bees and mm -hmm. you know saying. Yeah. Even going back even before Michael Rose came in, I remember when you introduced um Andrew Bees, you guys went on a tour with Sly and Robbie and Scientist was actually the engineer at that time there for you guys on this tour here. Yes, I remember that tour. Mm -hmm. I remember that tour, you know. That tour was the first tour for me is introducing him into America and to the world. Mm -hmm. So I, I, I need the rhythm twin behind me, you know. It was a very expensive tour too. Mm -hmm. Very. We didn't we didn't make any money. The the musician didn't make all the money. Mm -hmm. I make serious money too. But we pay the price. We didn't mind paying the price. I came from that tour without a dime. 
and that tour made that tour could might be classified as one of my top six or in a tour and i came home without a dime it was just to get andrew beast out there so it was basically in your mind a promotional tour no it was not a promotional tour the tour make a lot of money mm -hmm. but the musician them it all went to the musician them mm -hmm. Wooly for money, wooly because the price they had charged me for that tour was enormous. Mm -hmm. It was like unbelievably enormous. But going back out there with bees, I, I sacrificed and, and still agreed to it. Mm -hmm. What they charged me was totally madness. In other words, I was stick up. Mm. You understand? But I say all right. It was a six-week tour too, you know. Mm -hmm. Cost me thousands and hundreds of thousands of dollars, and I, I still went through with it. Yeah, you know, bees bees was fresh, mm -hmm. so it wasn't really running down money. It wasn't really penetrating money too hard. Mm -hmm. It's maybe to the work. You know, and I didn't plan to take any from the proceeds. Mm -hmm. So all my proceeds went and some of these won. You know, and yeah. Back but we, we had to do this. It was like a sacrifice. Mm -hmm. You had to make it happen. There's yes. a couple couple accomplishments that I want to go through with you with the band. All right. Your Broadway play called Loving the Street Silent Tears. How did you guys come up with that one? There are what was the deal with that? Situation? Loving the silence, tears. That is one of the biggest feet Black who has ever come up. Yeah, as ever. Yeah, love, loving the silent tears. We were chosen by Master Shanghai. Hmm. Master Shanghai is a lady. She's a Korean. Ara, ara, ara. We had this place in America war with or, or a Vietnamese, one of them people that she's one. And she was one who invented a thing, vegan. Okay. She's an oriental lady. And she went up in the Himalaya mountains and trained with the monks and you know, you can knock her up. She have a great history, you know. Mm -hmm. And she do musical. She do some massive musical every year or every two years in the Shrine Auditorium in Los Angeles. It's like a Broadway musical. Mm -hmm. It's big, it's massive, like Broadway. And we were invited to represent the continent of... And there were a lot of representative people from Italy, France, Canada, Israel, Philippines, Iraq, Iran, China, Korea, you know, mm -hmm. and the package was like 100 and a lot, a lot. You know, musical carry two, three 300 people on the package and thing. And we were invited to do that. Loving the Silent Tears. We did a, we had a single track. We did a single track also. Mm -hmm. And we performed with the guys them. Yeah. And we, we were back by orchestras and Okay. Our single was named Make a Deal, you know? And Lady Shanghai, Master Shanghai, she wrote all the songs for the, for the musical. This musical was produced by all of the top ends, like Michael Jackson, producer. Okay. You name it. The actors then was like Emmy, Emmy Award winners, Tony Award winners, there were only two or three Grammy Award winners in the package. The rest of winners was Emmy and Tony Awards and yeah, man. Mm -hmm. You know, when we arrived there on the red carpet there, man, and I was interviewed by 24 TV station <laughs> on the red carpet before getting into the auditorium. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man. That was big. Do you remember and what thing? What era was that? Who was? What is it? 2012. I send them information to you. you know. mm -hmm. Okay. I so then that was August. August. Uh, 
it, it, I think it was 2012, and, and I send the, the key to the city to you also. We, we, we're getting into that, the Las Vegas one there. I think Love in the Silent Years could be 2012, you know. Mm -hmm. Could be. So it was Andrew B's. Okay, let's talk about the thing here, the keys to the city, Las Vegas. How did that come around? Um, the congresswoman, I knew a congresswoman from Las Vegas. Mm -hmm. I, I took her to America. <laughs> 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 and Ducky Simpson, you know, I used to like models, you know, I had a big man friend. Mm -hmm. I used to tell him, say, <laughs> the model girls, them are special. I don't, I don't want that too much about that. I don't know if I listen to that show right here. <laughs> I took her to America. Mm -hmm. And I gave her a visa and took her to America. And when she went, she, she meet. The immigration guy gave her her number. And one thing lead to another. Well, anyhow, she was residing in Las Vegas. And she was a very bright girl with a lot of subjects. So it, it ended up, she became Congresswoman. Okay. So when I went to Las Vegas, I usually go to Las Vegas, but I go for like a day or a day or... So I did this tour, was planning on living in Las Vegas, and I met her, you know, contact her, and, you know, and she was the one who get us, you know, about Blackwood Day in Las Vegas, you know, I think the 31st of August, mm -hmm. and that's where that came from. Massive. That's big right there, especially... That was my last show country. before I come... Before I come home the other day, Las Vegas was my last show. It. Mm -hmm. My place then, place then. Las Vegas, California, uh, Colorado, all of those type of places. All of them California place, they're my mm -hmm. place. Mm -hmm. I guess the real stronghold is like that side of the U.S. and Europe is really where you have the stronghold. Rest of the world, everywhere rest of the world. Mm -hmm. My name, they're right across the board. Mm -hmm. Mexico, Colombia, everywhere. Brazil. Black word name stretch right across the world. Four corners of the earth, boss. Yeah, man. You know what I mean? Crazy. That was Australia and China left from ago. Mm -hmm. And I'm pretty sure you've been invited. You just never wanted to go because it's too far to travel. Yeah, well, I was invited to Australia a lot of time. Never been invited to. China, but I was, I've been invited to Australia a couple of times. Well, also Africa, mm -hmm. you know, turn on a lot of shows at them places. I remember we spoke about that in the second part there. Mm -hmm. Another accomplishment was the um, Diamond Award of Excellence. How did you guys achieve that there now? You know, done them of it, you know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I didn't feel like flying, you know, so I didn't attend that, you know. Mm -hmm. I can't tell you nothing more about it. Then yeah. them take it away. And then they have met my seat. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> them yeah. they make me see it. I think that was revenge for the princess of the Khan, you know? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so you have this, we have that, and everybody's okay from there. Yeah, I didn't even ask them for it. Mm -hmm. What were some other big moments or accomplishments that you would say stand out in your mind also? Well, we talk about the whole of them now. Mm -hmm. Right across the board. Mm -hmm. you know? so we were booked on Sunsplash, Sunsplash. When Sunsplash started back, when Sunfest started back recently, they, they, they tried to book Black Hole Radio. Mm -hmm. But that didn't, that, that didn't come true. They wanted me, Sly and Robbie, and Michael Rose. Mm -hmm. But the reason why I didn't did it, they, they, they wanted to take away all my rights. You know? What do you mean by that? Well, like when a guy wants to do a show for him, he wants the rights to the live, to the, he wants the rights to the video. Mm. He wants the rights to the, to the live CD if there's one. He wants the rights to all the BT and thing. I'm going to show him something on that. You have, to, you have to top up my money. Mm -hmm. Even the money where they pay me, I wasn't comfortable with it, but I, I, I took, I, I, I agreed to it. Mm -hmm. So when I see them I steal all my rights, now I tell them, so you have to top up my money, you know. No more going like me crazy, but true, me know the business by them times. And I get raps, but me know the whole them thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I come sing for you free. I, I, I have me on BT and 
that stream you know, and all so they are trying to pay me up crazy. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah, go, yeah, man. Just one of those things there. I know one of your latest albums that you guys had came up with was one called As the World Turns. But there's a story with that album too, because I know it was supposed to come out a while ago. What had happened with that album? I did it and, and I lose the master. Mm-hmm. I, I mix it. I send it to New York to I send it to Philadelphia to get mixed, and the guy mixed it in hip hop. Mm-hmm. I think the guy was ahead of is you know because he mix it in hip hop in a beats mm-hmm. and then change up a lot of my arrangement and wherein him did not have the authority to do that. I can't send my album come give it to mix and you change up all the things. So I scrap it mm-hmm. and then I lose the master and thing. So I just redid it completely, redid it and add a few more tracks to it. And this was the first album now that Ducky seems to go and be vocally inclined. I sing all the album. I said to B, say, watch ya. Mm-hmm. Once the, we stop earning money off of sales and thing now. So I give Bees the go ahead to do his own thing. Mm-hmm. He can do an album by him own. We can do an album together. Me can do an album by my own. I can do merchandising by my own. Mm-hmm. So, I give him that player. So, I did some bum and do this album by my own. This is what I, I wanted to do. I needed to do some album, lead singing all of them. You understand? Mm-hmm. I've never did that before. I did a couple of tracks. And it's funny, you know. You know, I've, I, I've done over, I might have done even about 50 songs that I lead singing. You know? So much. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> but these people in Jamaica, mm-hmm. them don't play Ducky Simpson Black Horror. Hmm. Even, I gave, even I gave one of the radio personnel this new album as a world turn. Mm-hmm. She played one of my songs for one second. And she was, she was doing a marijuana program. And she played Peter Touch song for eight minutes. Hmm. And she played a song with Marcia Griffiths. I think it was about Maria Wana too, for four minutes. And she played my song for one minute. One second. <laughs> and make her comment where she feel make. Mm-hmm. Them don't play Ducky in Jamaica. Why is that? Them a play, well, they say, in Jamaica, it's Pia Wola, you know. Mm-hmm. You have to pay to play there, you know, don't care who he is, you know. So certain music like Shaggy and Sean Paul and these guys, and you don't hear them in Jamaica, you know, crazy. Hmm. You can't go to the big man and tell him to come play for play music. So all these little wannabes, young DJ guys, them are on them trap music and thing and thing. Them is the one who support the pay you know. All of these number one tune in Jamaica not going far than Port Royal, you know. Hmm. And as great as Vibes Cartel is, I can't sing two Vibes Cartel tune to you, you know. Yeah. Remember I tell you that. I must say one of them know one of them say about Nikki. Nikki you're pregnant for me. And, and the next one, them me no know him sang them. And this guy have thousands of song. Mm-hmm. Thousands of songs and I don't. And I, the man from my year song two times, I know it, you know. Yeah. I know every song, you know. And the thing in Jamaica now is them kill the music. These radio stations kill the music mm-hmm. with Piola. I remember the days when it started, you know, from in the IRFM days, you know. You know, see me, I wear my Grammy right name there. <laughs> Your nomination. My record in nomination. Eh? Mm-hmm. But it's never good. <laughs> they just get it and watch it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't take reggae people for real idiot, you know, man. Not even a good lick or something. You have it for a lick while it's strip off on you. Mm-hmm. You yeah, remember the days of Piola, man, of them uh, painting. So, you know, Jamaica, you're not going to get your music play unless you're peer. Mm-hmm. Crazy. And then kill the music down here, you know. They don't play reggae music at Jamaica again, you know. I mean, about the fool, you know. Mm-hmm. 
You hear me say to you? Yeah. No, make nobody fool you. They may play reggae music, dog. Yeah. And if the music not derogative and the thing that they may have played it. Hmm. See? Yeah. Crazy. So you're saying, so you purposely took the lead on As the World Turns because that's how you wanted to present yourself on this album here. Yeah, me, me I'll do some uh, three albums. Me I'll do it by myself. Me have mm-hmm. two more for do. Mm-hmm. Uh, and, and still uh, work with me. As soon as we get it flexible, that's mm-hmm. we can't each earn. Can't treat it, get so lucky and tight. Where I give myself, where Beast can do album by himself. Beast can do merchandising. Me can do it. Me can do it. We can work together the same way. Mm-hmm. We can we work together, but we can do different things. You know, them things <laughs> cause problem in a group. I'm going to say, boy, I'm do this. Uh, but... The, the music business is change and, and the, the finance is change and you earn it. Mm-hmm. So this is just a way of it. can capitalize both ways. And then all uh, through my career, me never do no album yet. Mm-hmm. Me, me sing two or three tunes on an album. Mm-hmm. Or maybe four the most. So this was my first venture for really do a full album. I'm just complete one day that day again, you know. Okay. Where you hear the, the song that Jamaica to hear. Mm-hmm. You see, but even before we go to that song there now, what I liked with As the World Turned, you reached out to the younger crop of reggae even dancehall artists like Bugle, Agent Sasko, and those type of artists. That's what I liked with that album. Yeah. It's funny, you know, because I did, you know, so I've never met Sasko yet. Okay. And I've only met Bugle twice. Mm-hmm. Sometimes you do collaboration, you don't even see the singer yet, you know. I sure. meet the singer, you know. Guys, links. You understand? Mm-hmm. That song is owned by a guy named Shawnee B. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but you have Shawnee B up in B. Ah, uh, Shawnee B. BBC. Song. Mm-hmm. My, my son, Jermian, lives in London and knows Shawnee B. Them. Mm-hmm. He's an engineer, big engineer. And he said to me, so, Shawnee B, I've already made my lick, you know. Mm-hmm. I'm saying, yeah. And that that same rhythm was on Morgan Heritage Grammy album, you know. Okay. And and keep it and have a cut off that rhythm, you know. And him send the rhythm to me and when we send it to him, go to write it right away, go to what's there and pin it. Pin it by the next morning and can I said chumming on the vibes and off the right not true, you know. Mm-hmm. And go to say, hear the rhythm now, I'm a play it fair. And she can't be in it, rhythm and pen it the night and carry it back. Hmm. So when he vice it and get my son and thing and him get Shana B. Shana B put Sasko on it. Got you. See it? Mm-hmm. But when me I say, man, if, if you do a music with me, you can't do a music with me and sit down upon it. Mm-hmm. Like, I suck me out. Yeah, 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 yeah. My name big out there in a black hood. You do a music you need to release it. Yeah, so I put it on my album mm-hmm. on the Grammy album, you know. Big, big, big. Yeah, because you know, if you do a tune for you, for me, you know, the rhythm I hear one, the vocal of my one. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. everybody everybody gets a share. And if you know, I do not do it, I do something, do something with it, because I need an album. So I put it all on the album. Mm-hmm. It's good to go. With Bugle, how did you connect with Bugle? My with son that? again, my son again, my Bugle, my Bugle, my brethren. Mm-hmm. I'm a wife. Then my Bugle are big brethren. So let me do that to them, say that this is a fit Bugle, you know. Mm-hmm. And Bugle just lick it down right away. And me and Bugle do a video. Yes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And this song was a tribute to um, Peter. And it's a, strong, Peter it's a strong Bugle song, you know. Mm-hmm. And watch your life go. In Jamaica, them don't play it, you know. Hmm. And in Jamaica, them play a lot, a lot of bugle stuff. But them not playing me and bugle tune. Mm-hmm. You know, for, for, for whatever reason. Mm-hmm. And this tune is one of the strongest tunes you will have. Mm-hmm. Easy. But me, I'm an outspoken and thing, you know. Mm-hmm. And then, me that man now friend up no radio this Jackie. Me and I want to sing our friend up radio this Jackie because I know, me know them from the days. Mm-hmm. And me, me, me know, say, I, I, I them look up. Some of them look up singer, I met them reach where them reach. Mm-hmm. So, 
when it comes to man like me, when I look no fame from Jamaica, car. Remember my album release, you know. My album, uh, one, somebody me get a copy of my album in a Jamaica, you know. Mm -hmm. I'm mean, interested for my tune them play a Jamaica. You know, have to play them. Now nah, look, no nah, big up here, sir. My big up are international, overseas. I my thing passport trial. <laughs> you know? I am mean, not really depend in other bag here where down here, sir. Mm -hmm. I, I'm a name done established already. I'm a name shall rain over and over. It, 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 it's it about rain. It, it's a brand. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man. It's about rain over and over and rain keep going. That's how it go. Mm -hmm. So I'm not really interested in a Jamaica when it comes to music. Yeah more international and that brings us even up to our thing there you said you have a new album that where you just released a single jamaica to here but this is with a new label la records is a is a ethnically is a ethnic label from california you know mm -hmm. it's a very small label mm -hmm. you know small, uh, might have been the smallest label i've ever worked with it's a very small label and this song was produced by one of a friend in California by the name of Dylan Seed. Mm -hmm. He's also a vocalist and a guitarist. That same year you're singing the second verse. Okay. Mm. And this song is a famous Irish song, you know. Mm -hmm. It has been covered about 43 times, you know. Okay. And I see it as a challenge to cover it again. Mm -hmm. And this album I'm telling you about, me and Dylan have three collaborations on it. Mm -hmm. Lion has a song on it. Bees have a song on it. And the rest of the song them is my own. Okay. So we don't, we don't release the album yet. We just release a single. Mm -hmm. Do you know when you're looking to actually put out the album? This album? Yeah. Yeah, it's going to be out by... The guy, by January next year, next year, it's just through the COVID and certain thing, you know. Mm -hmm. It kind of just, you know, so I might put out about three singles and then drop the album next year, you know. And then get moving from there. I see you think there. I know you do a lot of work in California also. Do you live out there or that's just your second? Do you, th do you think so? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I do a lot of work. Yes, man. In California, I'm, I'm the hardest guy for you to get for to move, man. I'll consider. <laughs> I'll be considered as a lazy guy. <laughs> I don't think I do. Not even a third. I should have done a lot of work. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's I should really have done a lot of work, you know. Mm -hmm. But but California is my base, you know. Like out there, lot of lot of ganja and thing. Mm -hmm. That is what really dra I'm drawn to out there. That the weed, you know. Yeah. And it's like country, you know. Rivers, creek, and country, and yeah, like California. Mm -hmm. You ever thought about coming up with your own strain since you like marijuana so much? I tried to get attached to some street, street in strain when I was in America, you know, up the area, you know, but you know, um, to I see it, I, I, you know, um, if I'm gonna attach myself to a strain. Mm -hmm. Well, you have to give me a whole heap of weed or give me some money. Mm -hmm. You understand? Mm -hmm. I'm a brand. Mm -hmm. You can't just expect me to attach my name to a stranger and you know, give, you know, give me nothing. Because I'm not into this to lose, you know. For sure. Yeah, so if you want my name, you have to give me some weed. If you can't give me no money, mm -hmm. you give me a couple of pounds of the high grade strain there. Right there, you know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> or you give me a couple of thousand pen or something or whatever are uh, you give me some money yeah you know this this shoes company wanted to do some work but it's a set problem again but you know no upfront money and uh, you know as i say i'm not here to lose so but these guys want to take the loses if they're gonna lose you know i'm not depend on that and you you put in so much work from back then you you've learned the business as you said at one point in your career you didn't start making money until like in the 90s you understand you know what you're talking about 1990 mm -hmm. and it lasted till 94 mm -hmm. then the money went down again and and get to average mm -hmm. you know 
When would you say me and bees, me and bees getting there and thing and thing? You know, mm-hmm. we don't make a lot of money on the road. You know, the road is not the road is kind of tough to make a lot of money on. You know, why would you say that? Because I thought that yeah, because you have, you have make money. You make a lot of money on the road when you have big sellers. Mm. You know, you have album like Till Shiloh, or you have album like Shaggy them album or even less, less. You know, but. You know, when you don't eat tune, ducking at black women and eat tune for ages. We just step on the road because of our brand. Mm-hmm. You know? So, oh, 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 our, our, our earning is like minimum. But it gets us going through still. Mm-hmm. Get us a couple toys. You know? And, and get up, get us a few nice things. But that, you know, but that, that, as I, that way I would say, you know, just get us to one thing, not no worry about money. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, when, when I talk about whoop of money, I talk about whoop of money. Mm-hmm. Out of all the errors that you've been through from the 70s to right now, when would you say would have been the biggest error of Black Yoruba? Well, my biggest error would, would be when I was making some money, you know. Mm-hmm. The biggest error on the paper or to the fans or to the people them would be with Michael Rose and Puma. Mm-hmm. But that was like, that was my biggest error. I was making the money. Mm-hmm. So you'd have to, you'd have to, you know, you'd have to, I, I, I look for my time, then with Dan Carlos as a more nice error to me. Mm-hmm. You know? But 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 with Michael Rosemann thing, it was more famous. It was mm-hmm. more out there. Big sellers and thing, you know, million sellers and, you know, still was learning still, but we had some big sellers that time, you know? But but it was just frustration and you know you know it's not everything you see glitter is gold you know and music business yeah is a front you know mm-hmm. even when you when you used to see black people up there you know and we are kick ass on a big show you know we don't speak to each other mm-hmm. you understand we come off a stage we go one away we don't see each other again till them draw we're we'll getting at the starting gate again for episode 50 or whatever mm-hmm. yeah and the crazy thing about it is you guys understand that like listen we're here to do a show even if we're not talking you perform at the best of your ability Wait, yeah time. we'll have we'll have to mm-hmm. that's when that name call mm-hmm. when that name call the switch switch in you know mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and, and switch off when that done so you see that that two hour up there hour? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And when, when that done you fall back in here. Whatever, whatever. Mm-hmm. Would you say everything you've done, you've seen, you've been around from beginning to right now. What would you say you as a manager, you as an owner, would you say you're flexible, you're more firm with what you want? Would you say how would you say your style of managing this band has been over the years? Well, I never used to really manage the band, you know. Mm-hmm. I never used to really manage the band. Like now, my wife does some management. And with Island, we used to work with Denise Mills. And with God, we used to work with a guy named Terry Rindal. I never really take up manager in my rare. Mm-hmm. You know? Well, work not even work. manager, more owner slash manager because at the end of the day it's really going to come down to what you're going to say because you own this band here well me, me was a easy going man when it come to music you know me just do what me have to do one thing and me, me was a easy me was a easy brother for work with you can ask all of my musicians them you can ask all the people that me work with you know my days of work you know one somebody never wore one time mm-hmm. You know, and, and that was because of the tour when I tell you about. I've never owned an, owe anybody yet in my career. Never shot anybody money yet. You know, I pay. I, 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 if I don't get no pay, everybody get pay before me from ever. That's how I work. So you'll never get a bad complaint about me. Mm-hmm. You know, I mean, it was an easy going man on tour, not like some of these you know, singers and things who is very cocky. And think like them, them is higher than people. And think me was just an iry guy for dealing. You know the image, the image that keep you away still. But once you get to know me, everything can be a man. Mm-hmm. 
because remember in the Michael Rose was saying that you're you're a bad guy and then um Don Carlos and Gar saying you're a bad guy but in your mind you're a good guy so then what is it that they're seeing that you're not seeing or you're seeing I was not bad I was not bad guy I was a rude boy <laughs> <laughs> with a good heart, you know. I couldn't be a bad guy and share proceeds for all of us. You know. If from I've been working with every one of my singer them, I share the proceeds straight across the board with Michael Rose and Puma, with Junior Reed, with Dan Carlos, them I couldn't be a bad guy. But man just militant. A man not take crap. You understand? Not like a soft soap, soft spirit, brother. Yeah, not like a slow coach spirit. And correction, I didn't sing on slow coach. Mm -hmm. That was done by Garty and whosoever. I didn't sing on slow coach because when Garty bring that track to I, I tell him, I know how to do it, you know. Mm -hmm. How come? I sing no song named slow coach, man. <laughs> <laughs> so I never did that song. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And thing. I get it. A couple more before I get you out of here. There was one name you brought up from part one that I want to ask you about right now. Gregory Isaac. <laughs> Gregory what Isaac, relationship you had with Gregory Isaac? Gregory Isaac was my boy, man. Mm -hmm. I am a friend, man. I am the man that looked for me and tell me, say, you're the, you're, you're the first man, Mrs. Screw and win the Grammy. Mm -hmm. Gregory used to tell me that. Because I mean, enough singer was no friend, you know. Mm -hmm. I'm producer, you know. Let me see them, I don't even look on them, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because no for the singer them cocky, you know. Especially all them little revival singer, yeah. Uh, uh, I reach out to man, man, I tell me about my sleep, and in the old day, on the phone, I go and let them take man for clown. So, me a man interested for me, it. No man. Mm -hmm. Especially them little. Brother, yeah, when I see a jump around the place, I don't want to meet no man. Because when I tell you, he's a man, I'm not really friendly. You know? So, I'm not the right man. Because even this little thing I wear, go on and thing, I see it coming, you know. Yeah. I'm a warm modern day Judah, you know. I tell him, so be careful, because I'm like a brother there. They must sprout some of them in us or know where I do. See? But sometimes you're loyal to a man and you just go down with him. Mm -hmm. all, all chronics. I read chronics, you know. Mm -hmm. Because I'm sure me, I'm sure me respect, you know. Mm -hmm. And the little one in name Porty G. What we call Porty G. They not show sure man no respect. I'm call man dinosaur and go on like a demo the man. I want to name Leela and Bull Savannah. I want to call herself Janine. No woman can name Ja. You have Ja Bunny and Ja B and Ja Glenn. Where you come from, boy, you name Ja. He's a little clique of them that go on, you know. But my brethren from Canada don't tell me about the clique, you know. I mean, I want modern day Judah. And, and when I see them, I go on like them, a black hole, I put up all southern flight or them rub off me, my image off of me, my big red album. I'm going to sorry, say, Chronics get mixed up with them, you know. Because I see it coming, because I see Chronics change them thing and I get, and get soft. And get soft. And I say, yeah, and team. So, them for know themselves. So, you think the image and the whole Rastafari movement has lost its edge, its militancy, its upfrontness? Lost its edge. It never have an edge. It lasts a long time. Mm -hmm. It lasts a long time, but them look a bright. Revivalists, you know, and them like a New Year singer, you know. They must see rust up on a different thing and level. Because, yeah, well, the music break down a long time. You know, you a brand name, Boglet. Yeah, man. And from this, the music broke down. The dance hall music gone to dog. Because Bogle, body language, and him dance move, them was 
feminine. And from the day I see my ass about them man, yeah, what kind of body language them body language yeah. hmm. And everybody rate him as the greatest dancer. But I shift the thing in that shift. Fear comes to now. Everybody a dancer in a tight pants. I'm um, an agwan like girl. You have one of them who call himself boy ma do dirt. You ever see the new dancer them call dirt yet? <laughs> Eh? Mm -hmm. I beat man for beat them brother there, you know. Go one side, you don't know, feminist body player, man. You don't know. The business, it's what you've seen over the years and say, okay, this is where it's now in 2021. It's like really different for you. It's like, how did we get here in the first place? The tendency was here a long time. I tell people in foreign all the while, they ask me, and I make them know, say, this propaganda where them spread pan Jamaica about about Jamaica is homophobic. It's a wicked act, you know. Them kind of vibes that legal in Jamaica for my band come see it. The first famous doodle boy I me mean, know was a boy named Sammy. We used to draw in the paper and come around at school, come teach children artwork. And come right up till this time. Jamaica, Jamaica per capita have the most homosexual in the world. So no matter about the fool here, yeah. but Jamaica homophobic. You know what? One last question, and this should have been probably the first one of the first questions I had for you. How did you get your name Ducky in the first place? Call me up duck foot. <laughs> Bandy leg you that you call it. You never see me yet. You put them bend up and things. That's so how I get the name dog foot. Now, we get the name dog foot from there. I go to school, you know, like young school and thing. Mm -hmm. You know. And coming up, we get different name, you know. All kind of name. Yeah. Ducky. Yeah, well. Never knew that. Never knew that at all. Every time, you, as I said, you see you with the glasses, you never smile. You're always serious. You're not into no long talking with nobody. Yeah, because you, see, you have to be care of people who, who act nice in a muscle. Mm -hmm. You have to be care, be aware of people who act too nice. Mm -hmm. They are not genuine. Mm -hmm. See? People who see don't act too nice and just hold them kind of. Them are the genuine people. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All these righteous people with all them up a righteousness and all these a preach and thing and thing. Them is the biggest fraud out there. Yeah, man. Just be yourself. Whether people like it or not, be yourself. But people will like you to go up a people like me. Who more want to like me? Mm -hmm. You know, you know, some of people will respect me all over the world, man. And check for me, man. Yes, man. No, man, I know, and I'll tell you, since we're, we're talking honest... I'm mean, the most famous man come out of our house, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man. Listen, I me we... carry wheeling soul, come out of our house, come live. I me invite them to come live at our house. That's when them come out of our house. And my yard pipe living at me and pipe and body, uh, whatever, living at the same yard. Me take the music scene from Trench Town after Bob and every man get famous and the house smash up and invite pipe to Waterhouse, where the whole vibration from Trench Town with music, pipe carry it come a Waterhouse and out of that, the whole of the man them come. Mm -hmm. All of the famous man them from Waterhouse. Waterhouse legend, boss. We, 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 we did a Waterhouse in the 80s, you know. When me that tell us them come for me in the green car and the war start when ex Kilex and the big politics war. And we have a brethren, you know. I'm going away. I'm going to go away. I'm going to go It's a cave. The man building nine yards in a bad man. Mm. Nine yards back, you know. A cave, you know. Mm -hmm. that, that's when Pipe them sing a tune name. Natty Ribs build a cave in him yard. Mm. Them laugh him to scan. Pity they didn't know it was for his survival to meet his rival. Mm. Yeah, man, got you. And them are sing them tune there. And think I pipe them dead in the judgment too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man. Big, big, big dear. Last words. If anybody you want to big up anything you want to say, leave any social media, website, anything right now. The floor is yours 100% before I get you out of here. 
Well, uh, my big up going on in my lingua, you know, a long time with the attack. I don't know about if you big up, you know. <laughs> and thing, and thing. Straight nation, they say. Mm-hmm. Just like that. Just website. Like that. Do you remember your website or your Instagram or anything like that? <laughs> no, I never go on Instagram yet, muscle. I never go on Facebook yet, muscle. I mean, the only thing I go on is with name, WhatsApp. Yeah. And YouTube. Mm-hmm. Never go up on the computer go look for none of them. Me them if a man send WhatsApp him, Instagram or Facebook to me. Me, 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 me not see it. I mean I get maybe go go up at the office and thing and I mean I'm not, I'm not into computer too much yet. Mm-hmm. I hear you, honey. You know what I'm gonna do for you? I know all of the the handles, so I'm gonna leave it on the screen so they could check out anything coming up, any tours, anything they could check it out. Do you guys do duplets? Uh, sir. I sing the plate more so you know, I feel like. Mm-hmm. But me, me sing the less the plate as a singer. Why, why think, you say that? Yeah, more time. I don't know if I sing, you know. I don't know if I sing about sound and sing about this song. Uh, it's space not that. Yeah. <laughs> First yeah, time I yeah. do dub up, I do four dub for GTT. Yeah. Okay. And I go, go up on a clash of England and I go play one of my dub them. Mm-hmm. One black hole and the man take black hole and kill him. Mm-hmm. But me, 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 me do the less dub plate. Me, me not think never do a dozen of dub plate yet. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Sometimes people ask me, me show them something. Not depend on that, you know. Mm-hmm. Go out of Europe and them thing that people are dub plate and so, not depend on that right now. Mm-hmm. That's not you. You, you. Listen, you're a different character, but thank you so much for sitting down because, again, I'll tell you, I'll be 100% upfront. A lot of people would say that, listen, Ducky. It's hard to deal with him. You don't want to deal with him. You don't want to deal with that. It's hard to deal with. I love that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I love when people say me hard to deal with. You know why? Them stay away. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Listen, yeah. this conversation that we had, the series, you've been nothing but straightforward, but you have your principle. You have your moral. You have certain things that you like, certain things you don't like. From you do that, everything's good to go. You've been so straightforward in this yeah, it's been crazy. All right, big boss. Bossy, let Bossy. me give you an outro and get you out of here. Thank you so, 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 so very much for actually sitting down and doing this. Yeah. Clean and cheap. Clean and cheap. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this is Muscle, and this has been another Two Line Music Hut Entertainment Report podcast, and we are out. This podcast is brought to you by www.twolinedmusichut.com.